but I am your resident black girl here, Odie. And I know what y'all thinking. Don't even go there. I know. I've been missing. But I'm back. Life happens. But I am back. So today we're going to talk about the 1995 debut film from F. Gary Gray. And that is Friday. Now this film stars Ice Cube, Chris Tucker, and John Witherspoon. Not to mention we have a whole slew of recognizable and notable comedians and actors from the 90s. So much nostalgia of the 90s in this film. Now this is one of my all-time favorite movies. I can literally recite all of the lines from the top to the bottom, including the sound effects. Want to see it? Here you go. But honestly, this movie is one of the best pieces of 90s film nostalgia that is out there. This is a classic. Y'all know how I feel about my classes. Any film that I can quote over and over again is going to be a classic for me. So let's talk a little bit about the plot. So we have Craig. Craig is a young man living in LA doing his thing. And he has his best friend Smokey, who is a local weed man and weed head. Which means that he's probably smoking more than he is actually selling. And y'all already know that's going to be a problem in the very near future. So Craig gets fired from his job so randomly for something that he basically didn't do. And Smokey decides, as his best friend, he's going to help him out by getting him high for the first time. Y'all already know it's about to be a problem. So he gets him high using, of course, the weed that he's supposed to be selling. So... His boss, Big Worm, is looking for the drugs or the money by 10 o'clock. And if they don't come up with it, guess what? Big Worm said he gonna smoke both of them. That's what he said, yep, by 10 o'clock. So, basically, they have to go through all of this different stuff, trying to find out where they're going to get this money from. Craig just lost his job. He can't ask his parents. Smokey don't have no money. He can't ask his mama. So what are they going to do? Now, although that is the basic story about this film, there's so many different side stories which makes this film so interesting. This is what gives you the entertainment value of this film. We have Craig trying to date Debbie, even though Craig is actually dating Joy, and Joy is dating the random guy that's like right next to her on the bed when she calls Craig and says, Who you go to the show with last night? Mm-hmm. Somebody creeping around. Then we have Smokey who's trying to get with some girl who says she looks like Janet Jackson and she showed up looking like, um, <clears throat> not Janet Jackson. Catfish, catfish, catfish. And then we have Ezell running around looking crazy, doing crazy stuff, making everybody laugh. We got Debo stealing everybody's stuff. We got Red getting knocked up out. And then we have a uh, pastor, the good pastor, who was not even looking for some um, weed from Smokey. He's also praying for Mrs. Parker. And then we got Mr. Parker coming after him with a brick. And y'all already know it's already crazy on this block. So this is the kind of comedy that keeps you laughing throughout the entire film, which is why I love it. And not only that, it's so much good 90s nostalgia for me. As a child of the 90s, I have all so many catchphrases that I use from this film, including, You ain't got to lie, Craig. You ain't got to lie. While we're on the subject of catchphrases, um, everybody listen up. Put your headphones up if you can. Everybody born after 1993, um, my Caucasian brothers and sisters, this film is responsible for the phrase you all love so dearly. Bye, Felicia. Everybody is using it and nobody knows where it came from. It came from this film. Felicia is Debbie's sister. Who Debbie is Nia Long. And Felicia is basically the, the neighborhood beggar. She goes around asking people for some of the most outrageous stuff. She is the kind of person who comes up to you and says things like, um, excuse me, can I borrow y'all microwave? Alright, give me give me what you want to warm up. I'll put it in the microwave for you. Um, now I was thinking I could take it to the house. What? Now, all in all, I really applaud F. Gary Gray for this film because he did an excellent job. This is his first 
film. The only other thing he directed before this was a music video, which is actually Ice Cubes. And he comes up with this classic film. How did he do it? I don't know. He's amazing. He's great. He used L.A. culture. He used black culture. He used 90s pop culture. And he used music to create such an awesome film. Honestly, if you haven't seen this film, please go and buy it. Go on Amazon right now. Pause this video. Go on Amazon. Type in Friday 1995 and buy it. You will not regret it. I promise. Now, you don't even have to ask me. You already know what I'm going to give this film. I give Friday an A+. Perfect black cinema classic. So, have you seen Friday? What did you like from it? What are your favorite quotes? I want to know. Put them down in the comment section. Are you a 90s kid? Did you just find out where by Felicia came from? If so, congratulations. Welcome. Welcome to the culture. So, thank you all so much for tuning in toning in and tuning in thank you so much again uh, make sure you share and like this video i appreciate you all so much this is your girl odie signing off from black girl cinema and i'll see y'all next time bye